First, make sure that the device you want to pair is on the same Wi-Fi. Then click connect on the home screen and you can see the pairing code, which is also always at the top right corner. I just enter the code the Idea Hub shows me onto this tablet and then we're going to be paired. Okay, hit projection and there you are. Let me just add here that this is not the only way to sync up to Idea Hub. If I wanted to, I could also connect to Idea Hub old school style using an HDMI cable. Okay, so let me disconnect the wireless projection from this tablet. And if I want to keep things wireless, but avoid the need to download an Idea Share app, I can use an Idea Share key. I just plug it into the Idea Hub and then I press this button and wait for it to sync. So pairing is successful. Now I can plug it out and then plug it into plug the idea share key directly into a laptop. Press the button again and wait for it to sync up. This function is ideal for visitors on your campus or people they may only need to connect a single time. So now that the laptop has synced up, we can use the reverse control function over here. Once it's on, you can control the laptop from the Idea Hub. Let's just try this, go into settings and open one of the functions. You don't need to use the original device helping to make things run far more smoothly. Clearly, Idea Hub is going to be a great tool to have in your organization's arsenal. In addition to sharing content in real time, it also allows for face-to-face -face interactions as we've already touched upon. Of course, in today's global climate, such functionality is absolutely critical to an enterprise's success. In part two, we'll dive deeper into what Idea Hub can do in terms of video conferencing. Thank you.